Hello, I'm Dr. Zimbardo, and here at Springfield Catholic, we're recreating the Stanford Prison Experiment. Out of 20 people, we have selected six prisoners and three guards, and all of them will be put in a jail cell. We are doing this to see how they react to different situations. Prisoners cannot hit prisoners. Guards may hit prisoners. On day one, the prisoners were caught goofing off and the guards weren't taking their roles seriously. Oh hey, if anybody needs anything, uh, just ask from the guards. Let's go, prisoner! Four. Hey, hey. Do you need anything? You alright? You alright? Are you okay? Do you need anything? Um, can I have another blanket? Sure. Of course. We'll get you right up there. Alright, let's go. <laughs> On day two, the guards became hostile, and the majority of the prisoners became obedient. Prisoner 17469237 went on a hunger strike and the guards were forced to put him into the hole. The hole is a dark room with nothing in it. Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! Do! No! No! Please no! You gonna eat your sausages, boy? I'll never eat your sausages. Then you're gonna stay in the hole! <laughs> because Connor won't be obedient, I'm gonna make you sorry, Sally's pay. Because of you, they took away our visit day! Hey, Connor, because of you, they took away my blankie! <laughs> On day three, the guards feel sympathetic and give prisoners some recreation time. We started off pretty poorly. I can't believe I'm losing. This is so bad. Lost gender contact in the direction is not encouraged. Towards the end of the game. Oh, you can touch, you can touch, Cole. Yeah, come back. Whoa, hey, you. I'm gonna play tennis this year. I'm gonna try to do that hand check. Because then I don't have to. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> the prisoners began to feel power, and they began to rebel once again. Prisoner 6 would refuse to wear clothes in the form of rebellion, and the guards were forced to throw him into the hole once again. Rob, Rob, wake up, 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 wake Prisoner James was seen convulsing and crying in his prison cell. 
It forced me to go in and talk to him and release him from the experiment. My psychological state was compromised. You're too much of an emotional wreck. We're releasing you from the experiment. Come with me. After I had released prisoner James, the prisoners were sent to the parole officer. What you need? Now my parole. <laughs> why? Why? I've been good. Why should I give you parole? I've obeyed everybody and I've done whatever all the guards have said. No, no, no. Ah, uh -uh. no. That don't count. See what I'm saying? It doesn't See count. Hey, listen. I went ahead and did push up every day. I fed my teammates. I fed my people. And they didn't give me parole. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look at mine. Look at mine. You, you need parole? You ain't get no parole. Get on my head. Hey! Wait. You ain't get no parole. <laughs> okay. Hey! What? Look at me. Alright. Can I have my parole? <laughs> Why? I wanna, I wanna leave. What, what, you think this is easy? You think this is easy street? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm a good prisoner. I can do whatever I want. Oh, oh, I've, I've done this and this and this and this. Oh, I think I'm good enough for parole. Well, you're not. You're not even close. Hey, listen, I watched you. You know what I see? I don't see a guy who deserves parole. I see a loser who deserves to be in jail. Now get out of my office before I really go off on you. No parole for you! <laughs> On day six, we had concluded our experiment, and we went around to the prison telling everyone that it had been canceled. All prisoners were released from the experiment. You're being released, the experiment's been canceled. Really? Alright. You're being released, the experiment's been canceled. Why? 